Hey there, welcome to March, one of my favorite months of the whole year. When I look back at my life, um, March has always been pretty powerful to me. When I was a younger woman, I, I woke up in March 2004, an early spring day, and I said, you know, I am, I'm tired of being heavy. I'm tired of being angry. I'm tired of the life that I have. I want to be lighter. I want, I want to be different. I want more. This is not what I want. And I started taking walks every day and I was really heavy and it, it was hard. 20 minutes a day was tough in the beginning. And I just kept going and I just kept walking. And it soon became something that I did in the morning and something I did in the afternoon. And I continue, you know, now 15, 16, 17 years later, I'm still walking every single morning, every single afternoon. It's just part of my life. And I'll never forget when I started to do this, I started to pay attention to things. I was noticing nature. I was noticing my thoughts. I was noticing what was going on around me. When I wasn't doing that previous to that, I was just like a hamster on a wheel, just going after the same thing every single day. And that, that was a big change for me. It was also in March that I took my first yoga teacher training and I was terrified. I talked about this last month in the invitation. I was terrified, but it put me on a path that I'm so grateful. I said yes to that, to that training. It really did change my life. So March is important to me. It's a time when we, when we think about if our life was like a flower bed, what would be left over that's in the way of our growth. What do we need to do before we can actually plant seeds? We gotta go out there and we gotta pull away the old leaves, the wet soggy stuff that has happened over winter. Maybe there's some trash that has blown in to the flower beds, twigs that have snapped off the tree above, whatever it is, before we can plant the flowers or the seeds, we have to clear out those flower beds. And I like to think of it, our life just like that. Before we can, really set forth new growth for this season, we have to clear out the stuff that's in the way. We have to get rid of the stuff. Like it might be doubt, it might be a pattern, it might be your past, it might be fear. We gotta get rid of it in order to really grow because otherwise those sprouts of growth have nowhere to get through. They can't get through all the, all the junk. So this month we're gonna be talking a lot about that, a lot about preparing our soil for growth. This first practice of this series is going to be twists, lots of twists to clean out our insides and start that process. Like if we think of a garden bed, we take a rototiller to our garden, we churn the oil or the soil and we turn it over and we take shovels and we, we dig into it and we flip it over to bring newness and we get rid of the junk. So practice is going to be designed around that to get our bodies churning and get them moving and kind of get rid of the winter sludge that has built up. And then the next practice I'm going to offer is going to be a hip practice. And there's a lot of theories out there that we, we tend to store a lot of emotions deep in our hips and in our low back, which as a result comes into tightness, stiffness, pain. So we're going to get hip happy in a hip practice. You get two yoga practices in this series. They're a little bit shorter. They're not a full hour. So you're going to have a nice quick practice, maybe something you can do before you start your day or come into the hip one as you end your day. So it's a beautiful chance to just get in touch with your body and start that process of churning and clearing out the old. It's time, like this is it, we're coming into spring where we're gonna really start to grow and bloom and it's beautiful, it's a wonderful time of year. So that's the practices for you and sort of our theme for the month is gonna be optimism and looking forward, staying in the present moment, but looking forward to what's come and what we have available to us if we do a little bit of the work if we prepare the soil there is a potential that we're going to have some amazing growth so thanks for showing up thanks for being in my life thanks for playing along thanks for practicing thanks for your support i look forward to seeing you so be sure to check out the yoga i'll see you soon